In this video, I'm going to show you the universal roadmap to cybersecurity. Ah! Yeah, I know. Scary, right? This is a comprehensive guide that anyone can follow, even your Aunt Sally. What did my phone turn into a mirror? That will hopefully make the road a little bit less scary. I know when I started, it was overwhelming and confusing. Some people said you need a degree. Others said certs. Some even said you don't need either. Spoiler, they're kind of lying. And some even said to give up because I'd never amount to anything. Most everyone on YouTube you'll find so the same three things. Immerse yourself, get training, knowledge, get experience. But those three points are a lot to unpack. So let's get started. How do you immerse yourself? You have to eat, sleep, and breathe it. You have to build a computer, maybe some networking equipment, hit up Amazon, start learning how the hardware works, follow news pages, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos, go to those black hat conventions, attend Capture the Flags, hack your school, try hack the box or try hack me, get on the leaderboard, do everything and anything you have time for. One podcast I strongly recommend everyone watch in its entirety is Dark Knight Diaries by Jack Cider. The production value is amazing. They're extremely easy to digest and give you explanations of cybersecurity concepts in a very fun and engaging way. You also pick up the key security words that will help you speak the cybersecurity language. Because after all, cybersecurity is just inventing new words to describe things so we can sound like we know what we're doing and sell our products to the board of directors. But the point is, to put your mind into that of a cybersecurity professional and be able to articulate like one. This will allow you to fake it till you make it. If you sound like you know what you're talking about, 90% of the time I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. There's a higher probability of you actually knowing what you're talking about. And cybersecurity is about understanding possibilities like risk, more specifically risk avoidance. So avoid risking sounding like an idiot and immerse yourself. You're talking like a song from the Lion King. Stop that, it makes no sense. So now that you can talk the talk, how do you walk the walk? like this. Technical knowledge and how to get it. Certifications versus college. Certs are designed for applied knowledge to a specific sector, but don't make the mistake of assuming a certification will land you a job, just like having a degree isn't going to either. You actually need to learn how stuff works, so don't just study to pass, study to learn. Think of certs like College 2.0. It's a method of learning a niche subject with some structure to give you the right way so you don't get distracted or start writing Metasploit on your, all your friends. But what about college? Do you still need to go to college? I feel like this question gets asked a lot, too much in fact. No, you don't need to go to college, just like you don't need to get certs. In the immortal words of someone somewhere, you don't need running shoes to run, but it sure fucking helps. Both will help your resume get past the hiring bots and land that first time interview. So unless you are great at networking yourself and can use people skills, to convince a hiring manager to give you a first interview, you're going to need something of universal value. If you can convince a random hiring manager to hire you without a degree or certs, then you might have a promising career in penetration testing. A cybersecurity degree provides a structured way of teaching you what aspects of IT to focus on with the added benefit of working more hands-on with other students and having a professor to ask questions. So if you're not in a hurry to get a job and can get financial aid to cover most of the tuition, I'd say getting a degree in cybersecurity is worth it and definitely easier. However, if you want to fast track your career, the CERT route can be infinitely faster because how fast you get them depends on how fast you can manage to study and pass the exam. More and more companies are ditching the old college requirement in favor of certifications. So if you have some serious determination to study and want to spend far less money than tuition would cost, CERTs are for you. Regardless of what route you choose, you'll find that the, what you learn is more or less the same. And on that note, I'm sorry to say you'll never stop learning in this field. The threat landscape is constantly growing and changing, and you're going to constantly be learning as quickly as possible as new threats appear and new technologies are created. This isn't like a typical career where you can learn a craft and just do that for the rest of your life. But that's the fun of the career, in my opinion. You'll never get bored. Here's a breakdown of my cybersecurity degree courses and their equivalent corresponding certifications. So you can see that both accomplish the same thing. The the outline courses provided the knowledge needed to attempt to pass each corresponding cert. So A plus is the expertise you would need to work as a computer service technician. It's a fancy way of saying help desk, troubleshooting and repairing PCs. It's a very basic understanding of the operating system, networking, basic security, mobile devices, and virtualization. At this point, if you can get your A plus, you should immediately start applying for help desk and service technician jobs while you study and complete the rest. If you'd like to see my love-hate relationship with help desk, please check out my video on it. I started a help desk job my junior year of college, and I felt like it did give me valuable insight into businesses 
and Active Directory, but it was a startup company that was so desperate for money, they threw any and every project they could my way. So junior year me walked into a law firm and started swapping out a server. And well, the rest is history. Startups aside, small to mid-sized companies can provide insight into a lot more than the A plus cert won't teach. So hands-on experience will really benefit as you work your way through the certs coming up. Once you've completed your A plus, you'll wanna go for the network plus. It's the technical skills needed to securely establish, maintain, and troubleshoot networks. Once you get the A plus and this network plus under your belt, you'll wanna go for the security plus. This is the knowledge and skills required to assess the security posture of an enterprise environment and recommend and implement appropriate security solutions as well as monitoring and securing hybrid environments. And hybrid is just a cloud mixed with an on-premise server. This includes an in-depth understanding of cloud, mobile, IoT devices, and an introduction to principles and policies of governance, risk, compliance, and incident response. Now, this is just the first two years of my degree. If we throw in the second half, you'll see I'm pretty well prepared for the Pen Test Plus, or I can begin studying the mountain that is the CISSP. This is the holy grail within the holy trinity, Wield it and you shall have the power to rule over all eight domains. Sorry, I hope someone got that joke. Now, I know many people have said the CISSP is overhyped, but I've watched countless YouTube videos, so you don't have to, of people who've made it and guess what cert they all have in common. That's right, the OWASP. No, but that one is arguably harder than the CISSP. Maybe someday. As you can see here, CISSP covers one inch deep across an ocean of cybersecurity knowledge meaning you will know a lot, but not a lot about everything you know. Confused? Good, I am too. I'll link this Reddit made roadmap to certs, and it's interesting to see where all the certs land as far as scope. The A plus and the network plus are in the bottom left as beginner certs, covering very narrow topics with security plus and CISSP covering a broader range. And on the far right, you'll find the pen test plus and the aforementioned OSCP under penetration testing and exploitation. The fun stuff. Let's say you've gone through the courses or certs and now want to give up and go back to your old job. <laughs> Wait, you don't have to go through all the certs before you land that entry level job. There are plenty of boot camps and cybersecurity training from countless websites. And while they can provide the same knowledge, the issue is that they're not marketable to HR. So I'm trying to point out the easiest way to get a cybersecurity field but not necessarily the cheapest, quickest, and only way. Learning takes time, and along the way, you should always be on the lookout for opportunities that might allow you to skip certs or part of college. If you already know a good amount of computers, you might not need the A+, or the Network+, and you could skip directly to the Security+. Plus. Many security jobs might very well only need a Security+, Plus to qualify for. So while I don't advise applying to security jobs after getting, say, the A+, you could land a job after getting the Security Plus or after the first two years of your cybersecurity degree. Now, these are the concepts you'll need to know if you want to stand a chance at landing a security job. You'll need a fundamental understanding of Windows, Linux, networking, virtualization, encryption, security principles like the CIA triad, risk, threats, and vulnerabilities, enough programming to be dangerous with scripts and homebrewed malware, <laughs> enough hacking knowledge to be a menace, I mean threat, to your neighbors and friends. So if you know all that, then you have enough resume fluff and gold to land some security roles. So apply, apply, apply. Make sure your resume is up to par. Make sure to put down any home projects and uncertified training like Hack the Box as well. I won't go into resume tips as that's a whole nother video, but let's recap. Immerse yourself, then find a solid cybersecurity degree or follow a chain of certifications. Get a help desk job right after your A+, or right after you complete the first 105 class in college. If you're halfway done with college or certs, you would be better off spending time applying and searching for an actual security role because a help desk experience is not going to matter in a security position. Or if you don't need any money, just focus all your time on learning. Heck, maybe even learn your way up to the CISSP certification, and then you'll be rolling in security analyst positions. I lost multiple roles to people that had the CISSP. And how do I know that? Well, I'm a security professional, of course, who knows how to OSINT. So take my word for it. I didn't want the video to be too long, so I won't go into how to network yourself and search for a job. I wanted this video to more outline how to get started, getting your mind where it needs to be, not necessarily how to land the job. Please subscribe if you'd like to see that video coming soon. Hit the like button if you got anything out of the video, and yeah, see you in the next video.